At first, I am prepping my skin using the Biotic Morning Nectar Moisturizer. I'm massaging my skin really well so that it will make the foundation blend well on my skin. For the second step, I'm using the Color Bar Primer. It is a silicone based primer. I'm applying this in all the places where I have a lot of pores like near my nose area, my chin, my forehead, kind of my T-zone and near my cheek area. Third step is applying foundation. I am using Color Bar Mousse Foundation. I am dotting this all over my face and then I'm blending that with my beauty sponge this foundation kind of looks pale on my skin right now but it will just look really good after that it is a foundation that blends really well on the skin and i really love this foundation initially i'm applying foundation only on the one side of my face and then i'm going on to my other side because it gets dry out really easily i just don't want that then it'll be really difficult for me to apply the foundation so i'm just concentrating on my one side and then i'm moving on to the other side i am not concentrating more on my under eye and on my eyelid because i'll be using concealer on that if i use a lot of product under my eye then it will crease and it will look really bad so i'm not doing that The remaining foundation on the back of my hand, I am applying that all over my neck and I'm just blending that with the same sponge. So for the next step, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I am applying that on my eyelid and my under eye area just to brighten up. This shade is really lighter than my skin tone so it brightens up my skin really instantly. I don't have a lot of dark circles so I'm not concealing and all, I'm just directly brightening up my skin. I am using L'Oreal Paris Accord Perfect foundation I don't know if that is how you pronounce it but I'm using this foundation the shade mahogany this is way too darker than my skin tone so I'm using this to contour I'm contouring right underneath my cheekbone sides of my nose and on my jawbone you can use any foundation that is two shades or three shades darker than your skin tone or you can use any contour stick but I'm using this foundation because I really love this and I'm just blending that with the same sponge but in the different side then I am using the same Fit Me Concealer and applying that on the bridge of my nose because I have contoured it. So I just want it to be a little bit chiseled and really sharpened. Next we are moving on to our eye makeup. For that I am using Color Bar Powder and I am just initially applying that all over my eyelid to make sure there will be no crease and it will be really good for the eyeshadow. I am just going to fill my eyebrows. I am using a random black eyeshadow and using this angular brush and I am applying that all over my eyebrows. Initially, I'm just outlining it, then I'm filling it. Then I'm using a spoolie to comb it all over. But you have to keep it really light because it's a black eyeshadow. It might get really darkened, so just keep it light-handed. Then for my eyelid crease, I'm using Sugar's Mini Bronzer in the shade Top Topper. And I'm applying that all over my crease area just to make sure it is contoured well. Once that is done, I'm taking a random black eyeshadow. You can use any black eyeshadow and I'm applying that on my outer corner and I'm just blending it really, really well. I am using my finger to deposit the black eyeshadow because when I use a brush to deposit, it will not be that pigmented. So I'm using my finger to deposit the black eyeshadow on my outer corner and just in the front part of my eyelid. And I am blending it really well. The blending is the key in this eyeshadow look. You have to blend really well. And again, I'm using a normal flat small brush and I'm taking my Fit Me Concealer and I am applying that on the middle part of my eyelid. I didn't realize that my video stopped recording during this step but I used this shade from my Makeup Revolution Shimmer Bricks and I have applied that right on the top of my Fit Me Concealer on my eyelid. There is no footage of that step but it's okay, it's very simple. And after this, we are using Sugar Eyeliner and I'm just applying that on my eyelid. It's just a small wing liner, nothing dramatic and nothing simple. I'm using the NY Bay Cole Kajal. It is a really good Kajal, you guys. I haven't tested it yet, but it's a good Kajal. Just let me know if you want to review on this. After this, I'm using Faces Canada Mascara and I'm applying a generous coat of mascara on my eyelashes. And also, I'm not forgetting my lower eyelashes because I just want my eyes to open up.
there is a little 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 bit of fallout so i'm just dusting that off using my fluffy puna store brush i'm using the same color bar powder and i'm just applying that little bit on my face my face is dry that you know guys so i'm not going overboard then i'm using this nivea original care lip balm which is my all time favorite and i'm just applying that all over my lips so that my lipstick will glide on easily then i'm using this wet and wild ombre blush and i'm applying that on the apples of my cheeks i'm not going overboard on this too because i don't want a lot of blush on my cheeks like a clown so i'm just applying a little bit Then I'm moving on with the Makeup Revolution Pro Illuminate Highlighter. This is a really good highlighter, you guys. I love Makeup Revolution products because they are bomb.com. And I'm applying this on my cheekbones, bridge of my nose, my chin, my forehead, and also my cupid's bow. Then I'm using Sugar Matte as Hell Crayon Lipstick in the shade Zero One Scarlet. Ohora and I'm using this all over my lips. First I'm outlining that because it's a lip crayon and it's very precise and then I'm filling my lips. It's a dark brick red color and I really love this color. You can also wear nude lips for this look. It will look amazing as well. And yeah, it's done. Here is the final look. I have worn false eyelashes and I have finished the look with yellow double flared maxi with a red shawl.